Carry one malformation is fundamentally a miscoordination between the structure of the skull base and the bottom of the skull, back of the head, and the contained parenchymal elements, the brainstem and the cerebellum. The majority of carry type 1 malformation is incidental and asymptomatic, in which case it's managed expectantly. In a minority of them, when symptomatic, it can cause headache with exertion is a common denominator symptom. People are counseled as to what the symptoms may be, and so long as they don't have them, they live their lives. When the headache becomes sufficient to degrade one's quality of life, then one needs to distinguish it from other types of headache and a referral to a neurologist for further investigation and medical trials of anti-migraine medications can be appropriate. In those in whom do not respond to medical therapy and the daily impact of the headache with exertion is enough to impair their ability to live their lives so that they can't do their life's activities, then those may be candidates for surgical consideration. This amounts to uh, a decompressive craniectomy, the base of the skull to decompress the cerebellum. That has a good track record of relieving the headache with exertion. The last step in that procedure is the incision of the dura, which exposes the cerebellum. We have applied to the hospital and the Human uh, Ethics Committee for Research has cleared us to do a study of the electrical properties of the cerebellum when exposed. And we hope that this then helps us advance our understanding of the cerebellum, what it does, and helps give us insight into what is the complex range and richness and variety of symptoms that cerebellar uh, uh, patients with Chiari malformation may have. Chiari malformation involves neurology, involves psychiatry, involves neurophysiology, involves surgery, involves the operating room, it involves many, many different areas. And all of these can be brought together to give the best possible care for carry patients.